If you follow me on any of my social media channels, you'll know that I love to cook and eat good food outdoors. It beats any restaurant anywhere. So I've made a commitment to myself that whenever possible, every week, I'm going to find some space to get outdoors, cook and eat. And that's what I'm doing today. Today's menu is really simple, just a bacon butty in the woods. Let's go. I do like looking at fungi, you know, mushrooms, and, uh, and I do tend to take a lot of photographs. Some of these things look absolutely out of this world. So if you head over to my Instagram, Explore Adjust, you'll see quite a few pictures of all kinds of different mushrooms. And this is why I'm wearing the wellies. I'm strolling through the woods and the menu may just have changed. I'm still going to go for a bacon butty, but look what I've just found. The chanterelles are out and I love chanterelles. They're pretty much my most favourite mushroom. So let's have some chanterelles and bacon butty. Oh, look at that beauty. There are actually quite a few, there's some nasty stuff, but quite a few chanterelles. Oh, delicious. Some of this is coming for lunch, some of it's coming home for later. I wish I'd brought some butter. How do you like your bacon done, guys? 
I like mine crispy. Especially if it's going in a roll. Crispy bacon, you can't beat it. Look at this gorgeousness. Husky hair. Everywhere I go, I travel with husky hair. One of the joys of sharing your life with a husky. This is beautiful. A bacon butty with fresh chanterelles. They couldn't be more fresh than this. Straight out of the ground, straight into the pan, straight into the roll, straight into my belly. This is awesome. I'm not gonna make you watch me eat this, so uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. But it is nice. Mm. This is gorgeous. I know I said I wasn't gonna make you watch me eat it, but this is just too good not to share. I found a little patch of gold. There are chanterelles everywhere. Look at the size of that one under the tripod or behind the tripod. Awesome. Now I'm pretty new to this area, living in Wales. Nuts. Okay, the three second rule applies wherever you are. Here's a quick product bit, right? I'll be making notes on the location that I found all of these uh, beautiful little chanterelles in this. This is my um, right in the rain notepad or one of my right in the rain notepads from any weather paper. These things are brilliant. I always carry one in the top flap of my pack. I use it for everything from noting where mushrooms are to nav notes, you name it. It goes in one of these books. Uh, they are absolutely invaluable. I'll drop a link below to the website. There are quite a few of these little things around. I've got no idea what they are. So um, they're definitely not in my little food for free pocket guide. So I'll look them up in my proper big mushroom book when I get home. On the subject of curiosity and finding out what things are, I did a TEDx a couple of years ago about curiosity and how it's the foundation for so much more. I'll drop a link below, take a look. Well, it's only Monday, but already I've hit my target of cooking out and eating out at least once a week. The rest of this week is looking pretty rubbish, so I got some wiggle room in my diary and I came out. By the time I get back to the office, I would have been gone for an hour and a half, but it doesn't matter. You know, I start work at half past three, four o'clock in the morning and I finish whenever I finish. Uh, so, you know, I'm not going to get precious about taking an hour and a half or even two hours out to come out and have a wonderful lunch like this. So all I've got to do now is drink my coffee, pack up, make sure that I've left no trace and go home. Thanks for tuning in. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please drop me a comment about anything at all that you want to drop me a comment about and I will reply to you. Uh, be good, be brilliant, be awesome. As always, if I can help you in any way, get in touch. Let's have a conversation and make good stuff happen. See ya.